You know, the Bible says there is one true Father. When the disciples said, teach us to pray, Jesus said, after this manner, pray, our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. God is first and foremost a Father. This is his core identity. This is who he is. In the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus praying to his Father said, This is eternal life, that they might know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ whom you have sent. The Father is the only true God. Jesus said he proceeded forth from the Father, and the Spirit of truth proceeds forth from the Father, but the Father, the one true God, proceeds forth from no one. Paul said the Thessalonians had turned to serve the living and true God and to wait for his Son from heaven. The living and true God has a Son. Have we not all one Father? Has not one God created us? Yes, to the Corinthians Paul wrote, There is one God, the Father of whom are all things. God the Father is the fountain of living waters, the source of all things. There is one God and Father of all. You believe that there is one God and you do well. The devil also believes and trembles. The one God, the living and true God, the only true God, is the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He is the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, who sent his only begotten Son into the world because every good and perfect gift comes down from the Father of lights, the one true God.